So how was that hurricane? Oh, I ended up being a, a dud, actually, okay? I mean, uh, that happens sometimes, and uh, I had all this water, and you know me from my prepping videos. Yeah. Now, I had uh, I had food. I went and filled all these things outside. I had 250 gallons of water sitting outside. Uh-huh. I'm sitting on a mountain of freeze-dried food as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, batteries, okay, solar power stuff, you know, uh, uh, battery-operated fans. So we were ready, okay? I didn't. I, I was. I had my mother-in-law with me, and I forgot about the mother-in-law factor because we were considering maybe uh, evacuating. But yeah. my mother-in-law was in town from Guatemala, gotcha. and I did not want to be. I did not want to be stuck in a car with my wife and my mother-in-law. That would have just been too much. I couldn't. Have, I, I don't really. I don't really care what they're fighting about, but my wife tries to drag me into it. Like I have to take sides and take her side, and I could really care less what they're talking about. And yeah. I have to, do you speak? You know, uh, to, what do they speak in Guatemala? Is it Portuguese? Uh, is it? Well, Spanish. Spanish. Okay. My wife is trying to learn Portuguese as well, though she knows gotcha. a little Portuguese, but it, it's. But she refuses to talk to her mother in Spanish. She makes her mother speak English. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay. I saw her mother. I saw one of your videos ahead. where you were down there uh, at your mother-in-law's house. It was really pretty down there. Yeah, my wife plans on going going back in October. Um, cool. I wish I, could, I wish she's going to stay gone for a whole month and go on. Oh. I wish I could go with her, but I, I really the work schedule won't allow it. So. Oh uh, yeah, man, yeah, a month off. There's there's no one in capitalism that'll allow that. <laughs> no, no. Oh, speaking of uh, time off, we will be going to Tijuana at the end of this month for a couple of days. Cool. Cheech and Chong, if you ever saw Cheech and Chong's Up and Smoke, their first movie, they go down to Tijuana and uh, one of them gets sick from eating some street food. Yeah. I, I've i only seen one of the Cheech and Chong movies, and I don't remember which one it was, but he's pretty, uh, he's pretty silly. Okay, so remind me in about 10 minutes or so, I got, a, I got some fish happening in the oven. I got to run down and turn off the oven. Okay. Alexa, um, set, set an alarm. No, I'm joking. I don't have Alexa. Yeah, so uh, we got some uh, uh, some kind of fish, Pollock. Yeah, Alaskan wild Alaskan Pollock. I gotta go down it. It's in the oven right now. Yes, it is. It's in the oven. My wife gets home, and I'm making her some fish. It's actually fish sticks. Generally, Jenny does all that because um, I'm not very uh, like she's just good at it. Like she'll be cooking it, and then she'll be like, "You know what this needs?" And I'll be like, "No." She'll be like, "It, it needs some." Cumin. And I'm like, wow, I never ever would have guessed. <laughs> yeah, my wife is a big foodie. She does a lot of cooking, but on nights that she works, I try to throw some uh, Costco fish sticks. Yeah, I, l- I love uh, spices, cumin, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. Street preaching is a uh, is a like a it's a hustle without without like a like a payoff. But some of the some of the preachers are are doing that right. Like you got a lot of. Uh, people linking into their sort of like how to support me pages yeah i don't really i don't really dig that you know i mean there's mm-hmm. a lot of these cats they they get on facebook and we're going somewhere to preach at some big event and uh, give me money okay you know hey right. dude i can't take off work to go to the grammys okay give me a break man <laughs> okay i didn't tell you to go preach at the grammys at academy awards you <laughs> made your own mind up to do that so don't ask me for money <laughs> oh they you know we we're that I'm so important to the gospel that, you know, God can't do without me. So please support me in my travels in my van across the country. You know, I mean, I don't, you know, well, Jesse Morales has turned his, uh, thing into a sort of full time, right? He doesn't have to, uh, uh, spend any, any extra time. Uh, as far as I know. Yeah. He, uh, he does this full time. I mean, it's amazing that he's able to support, and he has like all these kids and everything. Yeah, right. How a many, lot of how many? He's got four or five, three or four, something like that. A lot of people in the street commu- preaching community just like they have this attitude where you just got to have unlimited kids. Uh, yeah. There was a movement a while back called the Quiver Full Movement. I don't know. If yeah. You heard. I, I don't know if you heard. It's based on a passage in uh, I think Psalms or somewhere where it talks. It compares having children to arrows. Quiver. Yeah full of arrows and I can understand back in those days when you know people worked the land and you had a farm and you needed you needed a huge family to help you cultivate your crops and plants and everything and that's that's why you had a huge family because you needed it right in a very agrarian society is that what that's called yeah so you you would send your kids out in the morning and you know they didn't go to school then yeah and, and you would educate your kids and they would go out in the morning and 
you know, do stuff on a farm, no farm cows. life stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's why you needed all those kids. Now, if, uh, sometimes I do wish we had children because I can make I can make them cut the grass and do stuff like that, you know. Well, it's a lot harder. It's 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 really hard. The most I've been able to really make my kids do is what a remote control does. So you know, <laughs> I still yeah. have to mow the lawns, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had to mow the lawn when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs>